Jets going to be able to play Super Bowl longer because they're going to make the playoffs, but we thought they were dead. The Pittsburgh Penguins are all the way back. The race in the East is insane, but the Penguins are the most dangerous team in the entire East of the NHL right now, PK. Is that how we're seeing it? Well, Penguins probably have the toughest schedule when you look at it. Boston, Nashville's playing great hockey, and no one wants to see the New York Islanders at this point right now. You saw what they did to the Rangers last night. But for me right now, when I look at all these teams, it's not so much about who you're playing. It's about how you are playing as a team. And right now, Pittsburgh, for me, the way Sidney Crosby and Genny Malkin are playing right now, I mean, I would not want to see them down the stretch. I think they're going to will Pittsburgh into the playoffs. I think they're going to be there. But I'm going to go back to what I said earlier after the trade. Could you imagine if Pittsburgh had Jake Ensel right now? Look what he's doing in Carolina. He's absolutely lightening it up. And no, not, not to take anything away from Michael Bunting, he's brought an element to their team, and I understand what he brings. But Jake Ensel is, is absolutely lighting it up for Carolina right now. It'd be crazy to imagine where Pittsburgh would be with him. But I got Pittsburgh making it in. Go ahead, AJ. What about out in the West, PK? Who do you like coming out of there? Like, Who do you think is going to be hot at the right time and be able to make that run to the long playoffs? Well, listen, there's no question the Rangers want that President's Trophy. You, you know, you could see Peter, Peter Laviolette last night. He's pretty heated. Um, even though they're in the playoffs and they're playing the best hockey that I've seen them play in years, uh, they're going after that President's Trophy. But I think the team that could very well be the President's Trophy uh, team this year and also do some major damage in the playoffs, maybe end up in the Stanley Cup final, are the Dallas Stars. They've been <laughs> quietly going Oof. about – Wow. Been, listen to me. They've been quietly going about their business. No one's really talking about them. And I, I'm going to tell you, if you look up and down their roster, from the goaltender all the way up to Jamie Benn, the captain of their team at the top of the list, this is a very, very deep team and a dangerous team. And they can very easily – they can do whatever they want this year. They catch fire at the right time. They stay healthy. Uh, they could do some serious damage, including – hoisting the Stanley Cup. You have goaltending in this league, anything's possible. Good. Jake Ottinger is a real deal. Good, Ty. It also looks like there's a good chance they could lose in the first round if they uh, are going to be playing the defending Stanley Cup champion oh. Golden Knights. PK, how differently will the Knights look? Because I know like a couple of the guys they acquired at the deadline still hurt. Uh, are the Knights going to be like uh, kind of a different team? I mean, they've been playing much better as of late, too. I wouldn't say they're necessarily limping in to the playoffs. Like, How, how much of a, a chance do they have to repeat this year? Well, every time I watch the Vegas Golden Knights play a competitive team this season that I've watched them play, they come out of the gate slow, and the moment they flip that switch and they start to get on the body, get their cycle game going, and get physical, they shrink the ice. It's almost suffocating to play against them. That's what we do. They dominate games. I and I really believe that this team is going to elevate their game to another level, maybe two levels, and they have it. We've seen it. We saw it last year. These are the Stanley Cup champions. I have a hard time picking anybody else other than them especially after the moves that they've made. So it's just crazy to think that the Dallas Stars could be going home as early as the first round no, this year. No, no, no. I, I oh, mean, no. it's the seeding, no. right? right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'd be know. real shame going against oh, them. Not going to happen, brother. Yeah, welcome to the oven, Paul. Yeah. This is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Sorry about it. Honestly, sorry about it out there. So what we're saying is we got a lot of great squads going on right now. We, we got, there is must-watch ha hockey happening down the stretch here. Pat, the first round for the NHL playoffs is much, like, I would not be missing a game. As a sports fan, forget hockey fans. Hockey fans are dialed in, we get that. But as a sports fan, you got to watch the first round of the Stanley. And then tell me. Then let me know what you think about hockey. Because I think this year might be the best first round that we've ever seen in sports. Like, it's that, that's so much parodies in the league. There's going to be a lot of good teams going home early, Pat. And by the way, your Pittsburgh Penguins could be sending a team home, home early. They yeah, that's what, what we do. We don't lose in the first round anymore. We've nope. been doing that every single year. <laughs> yeah. We don't do that anymore. We're going to win this year. That's what they're saying. Well, it's. I think it's really going to come down to matchups. I really believe that the teams that come out of the first round, especially the top teams, like, I'll give you an example. You know, the Rangers, a lot of people were, were, were pissed at me when I said that the Rangers wouldn't beat 
Colorado in a seven-game series. That doesn't mean they won't beat them in June if they play them in the Stanley Cup final. But I just believe that with certain teams matchup-wise, certain teams match up better against other teams. And I, I really believe in the first round, a lot of these great teams are going to be faced with some difficult matchups. And it's going to it's going to rely on the coaches, the goaltending to be great, but the coaches are going to have to get creative, especially on the road with matchups and all that stuff. So there's going to be the game within the game, and that's why I think the first round is going to be must-watch TV. Oh, Sid, but there's another guy who is doing something this year that the world needs to recognize. Go ahead, Tone. Yeah, let's talk about uh, goal scorers, PK. Uh, Austin Matthews has 66 of them this year. Is 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 he the greatest goal scorer right, right now in the game? Well, let's put some respect on Alex Ovechkin's name. 18 30-goal seasons. Tone. I think he's 43 goals away from breaking Wayne Gretzky's. He is – for sure, the greatest goal sc- scorer to ever step on the ice. Austin Matthews will have a chance to have that title. You know, mm. I compare Austin Matthews kind of to like Connor McDavid and where he's at in his career right now. Connor McDavid's the greatest player to ever step on the ice. His skating ability and skill and what he can do, we've never seen a player like that. But when we talk about greatness, obviously, we talk about A, the eye test and what we see, but also your resume and have you won or not. I don't. I'm a little bit different. I can respect an athlete's greatness without him having a championship, but how do you look at Sidney Crosby and the body of work that he's done and not recognize him as the top three greatest players of all time? I think he's there, no doubt about it. But when it comes to Austin Matthews, I mean, man, I grew up in Toronto watching Matt Sundin play, watching that big body score some big goals, and Austin Matthews is probably a better player than Matt Sundin is. His size, speed, skill... And what I love about him, shot. and listen, I'm not taking Damn. anything away from that. That's Matt. a big take, hot I'm take from Stacey, man. It, 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 66 it goals is what you want. Well, Especially in Toronto. Listen. It's not easy up there. He's going to score 70 this year, and I, I don't know a team in the league that wouldn't be bending over backwards to try to get him on their roster. He's that good. And what I love about Austin Matthews is he scores big goals, in big moments, mm. and he makes big plays. Look what he did to Pittsburgh the other night. The one-handed right. backhand sauce through the seam to Marner. Marner's looking for a change. Tic-tac-toe, pucks in the back of the net. So, mm-hmm. you know, Austin Matthews always scores, but he scores in big moments as well. And that's where I okay. think he separates himself from everybody else and puts himself in that category. Guys, a so stud, as is Ovi, by the way. Yeah. Congrats to Ovi. Hell of a run, dude. Yeah, unbelievable. Go ahead, AJ. PK, can you, uh, can you describe what it's like to put in the playoffs compared to the regular season? We always hear people talk about the NFL going like preseason speed, regular season, and the playoffs, Super Bowl, everything kind of picks up. When you watch playoff hockey, it's unbelievable. It seems like they're absolutely on fire the whole game, very physical. What's the difference like from regular season to playoff? Okay, well, let's go back a few years, right? Rangers beat Pittsburgh in the playoffs, right? Okay. That series looked a whole lot different <laughs> until Sidney Crosby got hurt, right? It looked a whole lot different. And that's because the stars in the game, mm-hmm. you know, you can make you can make your you can make your money during the regular season. You can make a lot of money based on the numbers and stats, but you can make your name in the playoffs. And I think the greatest players in our game always make their name in the playoffs. Sidney Crosby's played his best hockey in the playoffs. And for a lot of these teams, star teams, all these teams at the top of the standings, you got the New York Islanders that are built for playoff hockey. You got the Pittsburgh Penguins that have won Stanley Cups. Uh You got the Washington Capitals who got the best goal scorer in the game and Spencer Carberry, who arguably, if Washington makes it in, probably should be coach of the year with what he's done with Washington. So when you think of those teams potentially being in a wild card spot, That means that Boston, Florida, Toronto, New York, Carolina, all those teams are going to have to go through those teams early in the playoffs. And I'm going to tell you something. That experience means something. You're going to watch in the first round. You're going to see what you saw last night with the New York Rangers and the New York Islanders. That skill part of the game is important, but there's a game within the game, and the New York Islanders are built to win, and that's because they have that toughness and that grit. So, Playoff hockey, you got to understand, it's a completely different game, right? So you you got to elevate that intensity to another level. You have to. That's playoff hockey. Yeah. That's playoff hockey. Yeah. 
Let's go, boys. Yeah, let's let's go. Yeah, let's play off hockey. Rempire State Building. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. hey, Ooh. we love big Rempire State Building. He, he brought yeah, some electricity whenever he debuted. Oh, yeah. Midway yeah, through the yeah. season. What was it, seven?